Hi, I'm Jared Hyman, an assistant professor of chemistry at Elon University. Today I'll be taking you through the appropriate procedure and technique for diluting a solution. A common laboratory technique is preparing a more dilute solution from a concentrated stock solution. In this case, we are going to prepare a 0.250 liter solution of 0.01 molar. We know our stock solution has a concentration of 0.250 molar. The first thing we need to do is determine the exact number of moles in our dilute solution. We know our concentration needs to be 0.01 molar or 0.01 moles per liter. Since we know our number of moles per liter and we know the volume we need, we can calculate that we need exactly 0.0025 moles of sodium chloride. Knowing our stock solution contains 0.25 moles per liter, we can take the number of moles needed in our dilute solution and divide by the concentration of our stock solution to calculate the exact number of milliliters that must be transferred into our new solution. In this case, 0.01 liters of sodium chloride solution or 10 milliliters. This is the stock solution of sodium chloride that we will be diluting. Make sure to pour the stock solution into another container before inserting the pipette into the solution. This is because you do not want to contaminate your stock solution. In this case, I'm using an Erlenmeyer flask. Notice that I have clearly labeled the flasks to adhere to proper laboratory safety protocol. To prepare our dilute solution, we will take a 10 milliliter aliquot of our stock solution using a 10 milliliter volumetric pipette. To use the pipette, place the pipette in the liquid to be collected. Squeeze the pipette bulb and allow the liquid to rise up the pipette. You should allow the liquid to pass the line marked on the pipette, but before the bulb. Remove the bulb and place your other thumb over the end creating a seal and slowly release just the corner of your thumb, allowing the liquid to exit so that the meniscus is directly on the line marked on the pipette. This takes some practice, and you may need to use the bulb to pull more liquid into the pipette again. Never pipette by mouth. Once you have the exact amount of liquid required in the pipette, hold your thumb firmly over the end and transfer the pipette to a new volumetric flask, in this case, a clean 250 milliliter volumetric flask. Allow all of the liquid to flow out of the pipette. Do not use the bulb to force the liquid out, as pipettes are designed to deliver the exact amount of liquid, and there may be a small amount of liquid remaining at the end. Remove the pipette and follow the same procedure as before, filling the volumetric flask with solvent, again monitoring the meniscus until the exact volume is reached. You've now learned how to prepare a dilute solution from a stock solution. To see how to prepare a stock solution, you can view our solution preparation video at carolina.com slash video. Everything you need to perform this technique in your lab is available from Carolina. Visit us at carolinachemistry.com to see our complete line of products and kits for chemistry.